Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another edition of Ultra College Community News Report. Today is the 26th of March. I'm Nimr Rashid reporting from Ultra College Newsroom here in Ipping, Victoria. We begin our report with much awaited relaunch of the Islamic Storytime program. This highly popular program reached full capacity within five hours of announcing the relaunch. Islamic Storytime 2021 is being facilitated by Ms. Sarap and supported by Ms. Rahana from Parents and Friends Community. We interviewed the founder of the Islamic Storytime, Ms. Gohan, on the day of the launch. Can I please ask you, um, can you let us know a little bit about how this initiative came to be? So, um, it's a really exciting time right now because we've relaunched Islamic Storytime for the first time since the COVID lockdown pandemic of 2020. Um, so it's March and um, of 2021 and we've restarted and five hours from when we relaunched, uh, Islamic Storytime capacity was full. It's so popular, this program, and I think it should be on uh, in, in every school, offered in, uh, in, in as many platforms as possible. We first launched Islamic Storytime in 2017, and the, the main reason why we launched it was to get young people connected to the masala. So we used to host it in the masala space. Uh, we are looking at reintroducing it into the, into the masala space. So it's for mums with small children, zero to four years old, and it's a great platform for mums to get connected as well. So now it's a flagship program and through the, this program we run um, an Eid celebration, we um, celebrate Neighbour Day um, and we uh, you know, run programs for, for mums with small children uh, on a weekly basis. And we are looking at upping our capacity so that we can welcome uh, more of our, of our cutest members of our community to Islamic Storytime. Beautiful. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. And Gulkan, is there anything else that you'd like to share with our community? Uh, for anyone that missed out, please keep an eye out for our announcements in our newsletter for Term uh, 2. So we are looking at running two programs per week in Term 2. Also, our college students celebrate Cultural Diversity Week this week. A range of activities and programs were hosted in participation of Cultural Diversity Students arrive in their cultural clothing, reflecting on their ba cultural background. The Elsinore College community is proudly made up of families from over 50 different backgrounds. We interview the head of secondary years, Mr. Biss, about Cultural Diversity Week activities. Hi, right, welcome. This is our uh, Elsinore College Cultural Day. You know, we merge Cultural Day and Harmony Day into one day because our school is such a diverse area of culturalism. We have over 25 different cultures in terms of our students and uh, we want to celebrate that. And students love to be dressed in their cultural outfit because this is the time for them to shine, for them to uh, exchange the different cultural values with the other person and it really brings a sense of excitement and colour to the school as well. I think culture also brings students closer together and it uh, allows us to really be uh, cognizant of the different and the diversity of our nation as well as the diversity of our school population. So culturally and harmony have been dovetailed together and uh, our students just love it. So this is Cultural Day at al Sadat College. al Sadat College participates in National Right to School Day on March 19th with students and parents riding their bicycles together to school from three different locations. For the first time this year, a special HIVS Right to School program was hosted at the earlier time of 6.50 p.m. Writing is a more suitable way to travel to and from school. To encourage students, Elsewhere College offers bicycle ramps at campus for students who write to school. Okay, so we've got the HIVS and a few other students, early birds, early in the morning, it's around 6.40, and we are riding to school. We've got a few here. Mashallah, we're just going to do a bit of a detour before they got their HIVS class. So it's a nice ride this morning. It's a bit cold, a bit misty. But yeah, we've got about 10 students so far joining us on our morning ride. Say so, Sanko. Excellent work. Well done to all the students that came early. Hands up, you had fun. Well done. It's another great, healthy way to get to school. Mashallah. Excellent work, girls and boys. 
All right, so we're here now. We're going to put our bikes on the bike stands and we can get ready for our HIPS classes. Our college participates in the Young Leaders Harmony Day Forum 2021 this week at Islamic Museum of Australia. The event was hosted by the Board of Imams Victoria in collaboration with Active Youths. Our very own Amna Arain participates as a guest on the topic of Be the Change and share the insights between El Sarah College mottos of It Starts With Me. When each individual takes personal responsibility to drive changes, the program has been recorded and will be available online in the upcoming days. The program includes with a tour of the museum. For this episode, we spotlight customer support team. To find out more about our customer support team here at LCR College, we cross over now to our head of customer support, Ms. Mispa. Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Ms. Ba Akil and I am the team lead for customer support team. I have uh, five ladies including myself in the team and as you know we are the front face of the school as well as the back end uh, processing hub of all information. Um, our main goal is that whoever walks into the office or, or uh, contacts us via phone or email um, our main aim is to um, make sure that the queries are dealt with in a satisfactory manner. Uh, apart from that, there is a lot of uh, information that is processed in our office. Uh, we are the liaising um, body between different groups, uh, between the parents and the teachers, between students and um, the teachers. Um, we help the students, uh, we have the health center in our team, so we help the students if they need any assistance. Um, I'm also the daily org, so I make sure that the day-to-day -day processes of the school go well. And I also do the timetabling. Um, just a message for the community, I'm very excited that uh, it's uh, post-COVID now and uh, the parents are allowed on site now. So make sure that you follow the school policies and we're happy to see your smiling faces. And we are just here for you to help you if you need us for anything. We, as you know, we're just a phone call away. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Finally, on March 15, Elsa College hosted a look and learn tour for parents looking to enroll their children at Elsa College. These tours are incredibly popular and gave families an opportunity to see our school campus, facilities, our school values, and reflect the large number of young families moving into the area. Families looking forward to book their spot in the upcoming Look and Learn Tour are advised to book in advance. All parents are reminded that parent-teacher interviews are scheduled on April 1st and will be conducted virtually via Zoom. More detail on all the news you heard today and more can be found under the newsletter tab on the al College website. That wraps up our news for today. Thank you for joining us here at al College Newsroom. I'm Nimr Rashid. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.